Good evening, I'm Mark Kiesling. And I'm Julie Williams. Tonight, health experts say you shouldn't be taking hydroxychloroquine to try and treat COVID-19. News 3's Maya Skinner spoke with a local doctor who explains why. Maya? Mark and Julie, a study says this year alone, physicians have written a half million prescriptions for hydroxychloroquine to treat or prevent COVID-19. But there's not much clarity if it actually does just that. Updated evidence from a new study says the risk for patients with immunocompromised health conditions who take hydroxychloroquine is still low. Shawnee Healthcare family physician Jeff Ripperta explained what it's normally used for. It's used most commonly for lupus. Um, it essentially kind of turns down the immune system a little bit. Um, it also is a treatment for certain forms of uh, malaria. But for those using it to treat or prevent COVID-19, Dr. Ripperda agrees with the study that it could actually bring fatal heart outcomes to the body. Research shows is that it just doesn't work. And not only does it not work, um, it actually might even increase mortality rates, which means that people that have COVID and take hydroxychloroquine might actually have a um, higher chance of dying um, than they do by not taking the hydroxychloroquine. So, so it looks like at best it's an ineffective drug. Dr. Ripperda says it's still frustrating that there's not enough treatments for COVID-19 in its early stages and suggests taking monoclonal antibodies would currently be the safest option. Monoclonal antibodies, which is an IV infusion, um, that will give to high risk people and basically it's an antibody that directly attacks COVID. So up until the point that somebody is sick enough to need to be put on oxygen or need to be hospitalized, that is the only treatment that's been proven that it lowers um, risk of needing to be in the hospital and of mortality. 